Hello guys, good afternoon. Now welcome back sa ating channel and welcome back for another lecture on the uh, subject criminal jurisprudence. So we are uploading uh, uh, Q&A for the purpose of uh, your review. No, doon sa mga gusto mag-take ng board examination this coming criminology licensure examination for criminology in in month of June 2022. Yeah. So this is already our seventh, seventh upload. Uh, uh, thank you pala doon sa mga continuous na sumasubaybay. Continuous na sumusubaybay. Nag-aabang ng ating upload for this. Ano? Uh, thank you very much dahil uh, lagi kayong nakaabang. <laughs> And I hope that sana meron tayong palaging na ituturo, no? na itutulong sa inyo with regards to the topic that we are discussing. Abang-abang lang kayo guys sa mga iba pa nating upload, no? Uh, I will try my best to be consistent and to be uh, to upload daily, no? Until siguro uh, the start of board examination. Yan guys, so without further ado, let us uh, jump or proceed into our lecture for today. No? Today we're going to be discussing the stages of felony. We have consummated, frustrated, and attempted felony. So, we will be able to discuss that using the Q&A form wherein we are going to answer the question posted. No? And we're going to discuss the different choices uh, therein, included therein. Okay? So, ito guys, basahin natin yung tanong. Mr. Pedro, with intent to kill, no? shot Mr. One. Fortunately, the fire jumped. Because of such, Mr. One was able to escape from Mr. Pedro. Question, what stage of felony does the act of Mr. Pedro will fall into? So, ang buod ng tanong guys, si Mr. Pedro gusto niyang patayin si Juan. Kaya, binaril niya. Kaso, kasamang palad, hindi pumutok yung baril. No? Dahil doon, no, nakatakas si Mr. One kay Mr. Pedro. Ngayon, If we're going to identify anong stage ng felony na napapabilang yung ginawa ni Mr. Pad, uh, ni Mr. Pedro. Okay, so before we can answer that, ano, uh, let us first discuss the quest, uh, the choices that we have. Now, actually, we have four choices, but we're just going to discuss the three, the the, uh, the three choices that we have. We have a consummated felony, we have frustrated felony, we have attempted felony. First, let us discuss what is consummated felony. Consummated felony siya guys kapag uh, all the elements necessary for its execution and accomplishment are present. So, dapat nandun lahat yung act. No? Dapat, uh, ibig sabihin, dapat na-execute ng, per ng perpetrator lahat ng act that would produce the crime. Like for example, Mr. Pedro shooting Mr. One using a firearm. So, nabaril niya ba? No? Nabaril niya ba? The answer is no, hindi niya nabaril. No? Kasi nagkaroon ng problema doon sa kanyang baril. So, not all the elements here are present. No? Wala kumbaga lahat ng elements. Dapat kung consummated siya, it should be like this. Si Mr. Pedro with intent to kill, uh, kill shot Mr. One. No? And, he was able to shot Mr. One, na baril niya si Mr. One, kung saan niya man gustong patamaan, yun yung execution. No? Na-execute niya lahat no? ng uh, uh, necessary act that would produce the felony, which is yung pagbaril. If Mr. Pedro died as a result, namatay si Mr. Pedro dahil, uh, namatay si Mr. One dahil sa pagbaril sa kanya ni Mr. Pedro, no? Then, the stage of felony that we are talking about will now be considered as consummated kasi una, na-perform lahat ng perpetrator yung necessary action that would produce the intended crime. No? Additionally, no? the intended crime was completed. Nagawa. Namatay siya eh. Di ba yun yung intent ng perpetrator natin? That's the intent of Mr. Pedro na patayin si Mr. Juan. Kaya niya binaril at dahil sa pagbaril niya namatay si biktima, then that is a consummated felony. Okay? Consummated felony po yan. 
what you should look into, no, ang keyword mo dyan is, all the necessary uh, actions was executed. No, all the necessary, uh, all elements necessary for its execution was executed and the accomplishment is present. Kung ano yung intended crime, nangyari nga siya as a result, no, then that is consummated felony. So, Mr. Pedro here, no, hindi naman namatay si Mr. Juan, correct? Hindi siya namatay kasi nakatakbo. No, hindi niya na-perform lahat ng elements na necessary that would produce no, the crime intended because pagkalabit niya pa lang ng baril, nag-jump. No, hindi siya pumutok. So, it's not consummated. The second choice is frustrated. Frustrated felony, no, when the offender has performed all the acts of execution to produce the felony as a consequence, but the crime did not result or did not uh, was not completed due to some reason independent to the will of the offender. So, so frustrated guys, nagawa niya lahat ng necessary action to produce the felony. So kung gustong patayin ni Mr. Pedro si Mr. Juan, binaril niya, nabaril niya si Mr. Pedro, he performed already all the necessary acts or elements that would produce the felony intended. Di ba? Nabaril niya. Now, let's say for example, Mr. Pedro, nabaril niya si Mr. Juan kasi gusto niyang patayin. Believing, no? Dahil sa paniniwala na nabaril niya na si Mr. Juan at yun ay ikakamatay na ng kanyang biktima, umalis na si Mr. Pedro. But because of some miraculous event, no? either may tumulong sa biktima, tinakbo siya sa hospital, nabuhay siya as a result, hindi nangyari yung crime intended, which is the killing. Hindi siya namatay. So, ibig sabihin, there is the absence of accomplishment. No? Kung titignan mo sa consummated, one element, before it would, one element before it would be considered as consummated is that dapat na-accomplish yung criminal intent. On this example that I'm giving you, hindi namatay yung biktima, therefore, the accomplishment is absent. No? In that case, no, the crime or the stage of felony, the, the act of Mr. Petro will fall on to is under frustrated felony. Kasi, ginawa niya naman lahat ng uh, dapat niyang gawin para mapatay si Mr. Pedro. Yun yung pagbaril. No? Pero, no, hindi pa rin nangyari yung talagang gusto niyang mangyari. No? Dahil ito sa mga dahilan outside the will of the offender. No? Bakit importante ang alam natin ito? Yung part, last part, kumbaga, ng, uh, uh, last part no, ng definition of frustrated felony Kasi If it is because no, Of the will no, If it is because of the uh, If it is because of the will of the uh, offender That the crime did not uh, Did not occur no, the, Was not accomplished Then ibang usapan po yun Ano? I'll give you an example. Halimbawa, si Mr. Pedro, gusto niyang patayin si Mr. Juan, binaril niya sa ulo. No? Nung babarilin niya sana ulit, bigla niyang naalala yung mabuting or magandang pinagsamahan nila or bigla siyang naawa kay Mr. Juan. So, ang ginawa niya, hindi niya na tinuloy na barilin, bagkus, no? tinulungan niya pa yung kanyang biktima, dinala niya sa hospital, and as a result, nabuhay yung biktima. Nabuhay si Mr. Juan. No? In that case, no, you must remember that before it will qualify under frustrated felonies that yung hindi pagkaka-accomplish ng felony should be due to reason outside the will, outside the independent will of the offender. Dapat hindi yung perpetrator mismo yung naging dahilan kung bakit hindi na-accomplish yung crime. Kasi... Kapag yung offender ang naging dahilan kung bakit hindi na-accomplish yung crime, it will not be considered as frustrated felony. Kasi hindi siya pasok dun sa tinatawag natin definition of a frustrated felony. Alam ko maraming nagkakalituhan dito, ano? pero I think you should uh, read the RPC with regards to this. No? So that is under frustrated. No? Frustrated ang tawag natin kapag 
da? Ginawa lahat ng perpetrator ang mga dapat niyang gawin para makonsumate yung crime. But because of some reason, no? But because of some reason, hindi na hindi na accomplish yung crime, da? Outside the the will, no? Hindi ito sa sarili niyang hindi naging dahilan or hindi ang dahilan ay yung offender, da? Kumbaga, he did not intervene in so in whatever uh, uh, manner in order to uh, the crime not to be consummated then that will be classified under frustrated i think i hope no clear yung first example natin ano for attempted naman no when can we say that the, that the felony is on its attempted uh, stage no the offender begins the commission of the felony by direct overt act so ibig sabihin meron na tayong tinatawag na external action no but does not perform all the acts of execution which should produce the felony. No? The difference between attempted and frustrated is that dito sa attempted, the perpetrator was not able to perform all the acts of execution necessary for the completion of the offense. While sa frustrated, na-perform niya na lahat, na na-perform niya na lahat, so attempted, hindi niya na perform lahat. Let's say for example, yan. Actually, the answer for this question, da, is attempted felony. Why attempted felony? Tignan natin. Was Mr. Pedro able to perform all the act, da, that is necessary for the completion of the crime? Nagawa niya ba lahat ng kailangan niyang gawin para ma-accomplish yung crime? Da? Tignan natin. Mr. Pedro with intent to kill shot Mr. One. Yung shot, no, yung shooting, that is the necessary act no, that should be done, that should be performed so that the, the accomplishment of the, uh, the criminal intent will be reached, will be attained. No? But then, hindi niya nga nagawa, that is why, that is because of some technical problem on on his firearm. Diba? Nag-jump. Nag-jump yung kanyang barrel. So, that's the reason why hindi niya na-perform yung mga necessary act para ma-produce yung felony. Okay? So, pasok siya doon. Na? He begins the commission of the felony. Na? Nag, uh, sinimulan niya na, na isa katuparan yung kanyang masamang binabalak. Na? And that is to, that is by na? pointing a firearm to Mr. 1, to the victim. No? Pero, he was not able to perform all the acts necessary Which is the shooting no? Hindi niya nabaril si Mr. Juan Dahil ito sa mga uh, dahilan no? Or some reason or accident no? That is not as a result of the spontaneous desistance of the offender no? The reason why hindi niya nagawa no? Yung necessary action was by some other reason no? by external factors no not within him kasi ibang usapan guys by the way spontaneous resistance is like di pagbabago ng isip di ba halimbawa Mr. Pedro gusto niyang patayin si Mr. Juan tinutukan niya ng barel no nagmakaawa si Mr. Pedro naawa na ay, nagmakaawa ang biktima naawa naman si Pedro so hindi niya na uh, hindi niya na tinuloy na barilin so, yun yung tinatawag nating spontaneous resistance, no? Kumbaga nagbago yung isip niya, no? May pagbabago ng isip. In that manner, no? That will not be considered as attempted felony. Bakit? Kasi hindi niya tinuloy, no, yung kanyang criminal intent, no, dahil nagbago yung kanyang isip. No? Dahil nagbago yung kanyang isip. Ibang usapan kapag halimbawa, no, uh, hindi niya natuloy na patayin si Mr. One kasi biglang may dumaan na pulis. Di ba? There is external factor. Nakita niyang may pulis, no? tumakbo siya, no? kasi natakot siya sa pulis. External factor po yun. Pag nahuli si Mr. Pedro, so pag nahuli si perpetrator, the case that would be filed would be attempted. No? Attempted homicide, if, if uh, to be specific. No? The stage where Mr. Pedro belongs to, his action belongs to, will be under attempted. Di ba? Kasi hindi niya lang natuloy yung pagpatay sa kanya, sa, sa biktima niya, dahil ito sa mga outside or external factors. Which is, ang, ang external factors natin dito ay yung biglang pagdaan ng pulis, no? 
pagkakaroon ng uh, ay ibang tao na pwedeng umawat sa kanila something like that so that is under attempted no ngayon yung example natin kanina di ba sabi natin Mr. Pedro no gusto niyang patayin si Mr. Juan binaril niya sa ulo tutuluyan niya sana pero naawa siya kay biktima so ang ginawa niya tinulungan niya si biktima tinakbo sa ospital no kabutihang palad nabuhay si biktima No? As I've stated, that will not be considered as frustrated Kasi the reason why hindi na-accomplish was uh, yung crime Because the perpetrator himself intervened no? Siya mismo yung nakialam no? Siya mismo yung pumigil na mamatay yung kanyang biktima So it's not frustrated For attempted, pasok kaya siya sa attempted? Tignan natin Meron kasi tayong tinatawag na spontaneous resistance under attempted No? Spontaneous resistance sa I've stated, yun yung pagbabago ng kanyang isip. No? Hindi niya pagtuloy doon sa kanyang criminal intent dahil nagbago yung kanyang isip. Doon, sa unang kaso natin, no? under our example and frustrated felony, no? nagbago yung kanyang isip but remember that there was already no? an injury that was inflicted. Meron ng injury, you know? hindi naman madadala ng sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hindi naman madadala, madadaan ng sorry yung uh, tama ng bala sa ulo mo. No? Pag binaril ka sa ulo, no? talagang milagro na lang kung makasurvive ka dyan. So, hindi pwedeng sorry lang ang katapat niyan. No? So, this will not fall under attempted. Bakit hindi siya magpo-fall under attempted? That is because no? he already performed all the acts necessary for the commission of an offense. No? By the way, for frustrated felony, what we should look into is the so-called the infliction of mortal wound. No? Ano ba yung mortal wound? Mortal wound refers to the type of injury that is enough already to cause death. No? Na yung mga kumbaga, injury na na-inflict sa biktima, na yun pa lang, pwede nang ikamatay ng biktima. So, Yun yung tinitignan kasi natin under frustrated, no? Kasi kung uh, dahil doon sa ininflict na injury ng uh, perpetrator, pwede nang ikamatay noon ng biktima. Pasok na yan sa frustrated. If, if it uh, for example, hindi natuloy, hindi namatay yung biktima, no? Dahil sa tulong ng ibang tao, that would be classified under frustrated felony, no? Pero, no, kung ang naging dahilan kung bakit hindi namatay yung biktima, na dapat ay mamamatay na because uh, nagkaroon na tayo ng mortal wound. Eh, no? If the intervention was done by the perpetrator, then that will not fall under frustrated. And unfortunately, that will not fall also under attempted. Kasi dito sa attempted, no, dapat hindi pa niya na perform lahat ng acts of execution necessary for the accomplishment of the felony. No? Pag binaril mo na sa ulo yung gusto mong patayin, hindi na yan attempted. No? Pag binaril mo na sa ulo yung gusto mong patayin, hindi na yan attempted even if, let's say for example, magsisi ka. Why? Because shooting a person, shooting a person on his head is already considered as accomplished. No? Kung baga, you perform all the acts of uh, execution necessary for the completion of the crime. Kung baga, pag binaril mo sa ulo, matik na yan, mamamatay na yan. No? Hintayin mo na lang mamatay. So, no? masasabi natin na yung pagbaril sa ulo, nagawa mo na doon lahat yung necessary acts. No? Na, na-execute mo na yung necessary act to produce the felony intended. As again, it will not fall under attempted. So, ano? na anong anong saan magfo-fall yan eh wala na tayong choice no uh, in references that i have been able to encounter no since we're talking about killing then definitely we're either talking about murder homicide parricide infanticide whatsoever no but let's say for example this is a case of homicide hindi pwedeng ang isang pamo kay Mr. Pedro na kung saan pinaril niya yung isa yung isang tao no sa ulo at nung iiwan niya na, dahil alam niya mamamatay na, nagbago yung kanyang isip, tinulungan niya, tinakbo niya sa hospital, 
at sa kaputihang balad, sabi ko nga ay nabuhay yung kanyang biktima. Ang pwede mong isang pa dyan, it's hindi yan homicide, ay hindi yan attempted homicide, and it's not also frustrated homicide, and it's not consummated homicide, no? but rather it will fall into other form of crime such as serious physical injuries. No? So that is according to the reference that I uh, was able to uh, uh, read no? with regards to these types of uh, discussion. Letter D, none of the above. Okay, so what is the answer? No? So as I've stated, the answer for this specific question is attempted felony. Bakit? Because Mr. Pedro was not able to perform the all uh, all the necessary acts no? needed in order to produce the felony. No? At ang reason kung bakit hindi, hindi niya na-perform was it is by accident, it is by external factors. No? It's by external factors and so on. Okay? Ayan guys, so I hope it's clear. No? Yung stages of felony natin, we have consummated, we have frustrated, we have attempted. Attempted, he was not able to perform all the acts necessary for the, uh, for the accomplishment of the crime due to reasons, no? due to external reason other than his spontaneous resistance. Pag sinabi naman natin frustrated, the offender w was able to perform already all the necessary acts of execution but the accomplishment did not push through. Why? It is again because of some external factors no? that uh, that uh, uh, save the victim from dying, which means that the accomplishment of the crime was uh, safe. No? Pag sinabi naman natin consummated, ibig sabihin nandito lahat ng elemento, no? nagawa niya lahat ng kailangan niya gawin para isagawa yung kanyang criminal intent at meron tayong, uh, meron tayong accomplishment no? nangyari yung kanyang criminal intent, then that is consummated. So kung gusto niyang patay ng isang tao, binaril niya, namatay as a result, that is a consummated felony. Okay? Yeah, guys. No, I do hope uh, I was able to impart some knowledge with regards to the topic that we discussed today. No, if you find our lecture uh, useful, interesting, and uh, beneficial, do not hesitate to like the uh, to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. No, at uh, you may share also our videos. Bilang pagsuporta na rin sa ating YouTube channel. Yun lang sa ngayon guys, no? Thank you for listening. That's it for today. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.